Hey everybody, Patton here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to play Game Boy Advance games on your mini system. A quick recap on how to mod your mini. In Hack GCE, go to the Kernel tab and install repair. Click yes on the next window. Plug in your mini system to your PC. While holding reset, power on, and Hackchi will do the rest. Once you see the green light in the bottom left corner, you're good to go. Nothing too special to get these games to work, although if you're using a specific core, you may need a BIOS file. But we'll get to that in a minute. The first step you want to do is go to the Modules tab and to the KMFD Mod Hub. Go to the KMFD RetroArc tab, select the version of RetroArc you want to use, click Download Module. Next, go to the KMFD Cores tab. Scroll down to the Nintendo Systems. We have a couple to select from here. We have GPSP and MGBA. I used to use MGBA, but I noticed there was some audio popping, and that's where the BIOS file comes in. If you're going to use the MGBA core, look at my description below. I'll have a video on how to install BIOS files on your mini system. So I'm going to select GPSP, and again, download module. Close out the mod hub, go back to your modules tab, and install extra modules. Put a check mark next to the core that you chose and retro work, then click OK at the bottom. Once they finish installing, you should get this done message. Highlight your games and drag them directly into Hackchi. Hackchi will automatically get you your box art, description, and it'll change your command line for you. If you are using the GPSP core, you will have to change the command line. Highlight your games, right click, and go to Select Emulation Core. Highlight your games again. Make sure that Game Boy Advance is selected and GPSP is selected. Click Apply, then Close. Last step is to hit the Synchronize Selected Games with Mini button at the bottom or Export to USB if you're using external storage. And we're all set. Let's jump over to the Genesis Mini and take a look. Let's start out with WarioWare. Looks like the game is starting up just fine. And since this is unskippable, I'm going to move on to the next game. Now for Castlevania Harmony of Dissonance. Once again, the game is starting up without any issues. And again, I can't skip this scene, so we're going to move on. And there you have it. Remember, if you're having any problems with this, you can go to the Rock and the Classics Discord server or subreddit to ask for help. And that's all I got for you guys. As always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.